All right, couldn't find one damn video on YouTube about this, but I've got an Artie King air conditioner here from Walmart. It's an 8,000 BTU unit. Not cooling as well, getting up into the hundreds, uh, or close to 100 outside. And what I'm doing right now is I'm starting out by taking out the shell, these holes right here. Okay, this was bought last July, so it's been in service about a year, but you can see it's already starting to get some debris. So we're going to check inside and see what's going on. Okay, so right in here in the front, there was a little clip thing. I had to push that in with a I had to push that in with a screwdriver. So you have to put it back. But if you just take that clip and pop it right out, then that'll let go of that front panel. There it is, it's out. You can see it popped out and we can get to the rest of it. Once you get out that side clip, you can just take a flat edge of a screwdriver and just kind of run it along here. And that case will pop out like that. And you have to be careful not to pull out this front panel too much because there's some wires hooking up to all that so you have to watch out for that. So yeah the panel's off and uh, there is some pretty good sludge in there. Looks like maybe even some dirt. Yeah see that? <laughs> it's kind of viscous, kind of like some sort of blob-like substance but we're gonna have to get all that out of there. Sludge, no wonder that slinger fan is not working very well. One thing we do have to watch out for is this uh, electronic board. Okay, so I've just been flushing out the inside kind of like that. It's a whole lot cleaner than it was. I'm going to try to go in there and get very gently those cooling fins in there, the radiator. I probably can't get much more without actually taking the pan off, and that's probably going to be too big of a job, and something's probably going to break, so... Okay, so I've been flushing this thing for about 10 or 15 minutes, and as I run water in there, you can see it's looking pretty good. It's looking pretty clear. Just a little bit of junk here. You can see it's swirling around under there, kind of like a toilet bowl. So that's where it's coming out of that little drain at the bottom. You see that under there? Yeah, see that? So that's where it's coming out of right there, not out of this slinger reservoir so it's a little bit tricky getting the stuff out of there but yeah look at all the stuff that came out sludge and all kinds of crap so I'm gonna flush this and uh, when I'm done I'll let it dry and make sure there's nothing sitting on the circuit board but drying the sun this here I think this is the uh, condenser or I'm sorry the evaporator drain so I think when there's water coming out of the front this is what you need to check this hole in here probably like gently put a some sort of I don't know like a short screwdriver or something like that very gently so try to clean it out from both sides so it probably comes out of that pan down there and then drips out of there I haven't had any backflow into this area so I think that's been clear the problems have been mostly here with the radiator it's looking a lot better and one thing I'm doing in the very back I'm hitting this uh, radiator with uh, just a gentle shower you don't want to hit this with a jet because you'll bend the fins and you can straighten them out if you have one of those. There's called a radiator comb, but I don't happen to have one of those right now. But you just go over this gently and mostly hit the bottom. And we're getting a little bit of the garbage and junk that's kind of trapped there in the radiator fin. So we're going along the bottom getting that out. And you can see it washing out. Getting that junk out of it. Okay, this I've already finished uh, as far as the inside, but I need to show you the part that causes it to leak inside. See, so there's a little hole down there at the bottom. It's right down here. That's the condensation drainage, and when that's blocked, you have flooding towards the front of the unit. And there has to be flow. So when I go to the front and hit the evaporative coils from the front, so there's some dirt on the outside. That filter has not been changed regularly. Then you need to see drainage out the back there through that hole. And we're getting a little bit. I'm getting it cleared out there. So that's the main thing I'm watching. You can see there's a bunch of junk still in there. I haven't really got to 